Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about Oracle Fusion Accounts Receivable application. I would say in other words, Accounts Receivable model. So in this session, just I'm going to walk through the what are the activities or what are the functionality and the transactions comes under the invest workbench under Oracle Fusion Accounts Receivable module. The first thing, roles. So what are the roles are needed? Accounts Receivable Specialist and Accounts Receivable Managers. And um, <clears throat> So once you log into the application, you can see that there are four tabs are available. As, let me go to the home page. Yeah, so once you log into the application, under the receivable tab, we can see four tabs here, sub tabs. Credit reviews, billing, accounts receivable, revenue. So now I'm going to walk through about the, especially billing tab. So once you click on billing, so what are the activities can be performed under this task? <clears throat> Invoice creations, nothing but as a transaction, debit memo and credit memo. So these are the main things can be performed under this specific task. Also, we can perform adjustments, which can be positive and negative. So when you talk about the adjustments, so this, the document approvals, or I would say another way, approval limits should be most important functionality where we need to define in order to approve non-regular receivable activities, which is adjustments, receipt write-ups, and credit memo refunds. So when you say approval limits, we need to set or define approval limits the specific user who is going to approve in the application. I mean, it's in the production. So once you identify the user, we can go and create approval limits as like, what is the minimum approval limit and what is the <clears throat> maximum approval limits. And assign to that, the specific roles to user. So those things comes under the document approval type. In other words, adjustments, Asset write-ups and credit memo reports. <clears throat> then customer account statements. As we know, Oracle has given the three different reports, which other than custom reports, where we can, custom reports can be built by our clients based on their needs. But seeded things we can see as below. <clears throat> Accounts receivable, billing is billing, sorry, accounting reports, billing report, and receivables balance report, bills receivable reports, reconciliation reports, and netting reports. So these are the categorization where we have based on the what are the activities we are going to performing the under the billing tasks. So other things also comes under this report where it is talking about the receivables as well as nothing but as a receipt informations. Okay. And if you look at accounting reports, what are the accounting reports will comes under the, this particular category? One is overview of the batted provision report, overview of invoice posted to suspense report, billing report. Under the billing report, which is nothing but a transactions, auto invest execution report, overview of the transaction detail report, overview of the auto adjustment review review, yeah, review report, overview of the adjustment register, overview of the transaction register. So these all the things will come under the building transaction area. Okay. What are the activities you are performing? Either ways importing or it is manually entered by the business users in the production environment. And receivable balance reports. 
Here actually I choo have chosen a couple of reports, not everything, because these things are most important. Overview of the customer account status report, applied receipt registered, unapplied receipts registered, receipts days late analysis report, receipt awaiting bank clearance report, reversed receipt report, overview of the receivables aging by general ledger account report, overview of the bills receivable remittance batch management report. So these are the reports. It may be the client can use or they can do the customization based on their configuration what they have defined as part of the business process. But these are the basic predefined reports where the customer can choose to use the reports during the month end activities or like whenever they need it, they can use these reports. They can go for the custom reports as well as based on the predefined reports templates. Okay. And uh, bills receivables reports. Overview of the automatic bills receivable transactions batch report and reconciliation report. This is most important report where it tells us either all the subledger transactions transfer to GL or not. Okay, when you run this report, there is certain program which you need to run it. Prepare receivable transactions is there. There is one job. PSA job is there which we need to perform first. And then that will give us the right information about the each category which comes under the receivables to general ledger reconstruction report. When you perform this activity, the production environment, there could be possibility where this report is not matching. The reason being, maybe users can directly pass in the entries in the GL, which cannot be coming through your receivables. Here we need to understand only the basic thing, receivables to general ledger. It means that we don't need to pass any of the accounting entries in the general ledger model directly by, by using revenue related information. If you pass in some entries such a way, then obviously end of the day when you run the report, the system will give the wrong information, the report level, because the report itself is saying this is equal to GL reconstruction. First, we need to pass all the entries in the accounts receivable and run the create accounting and post it to the GL. Then we can run the this report. By mistakenly, if any business users are passing entries by using directly the GL, then we need to educate with them. What is the importance of this report when you pass entries in the directly GL model? The last one, netting reports, netting settlement letters, netting reversal letter, settlement report, settlement listing. These things comes when the customer playing a key role as, as a customer and then supplier as well as. This is one of the most important and very and of like them useful for the business users and client. Next, create accounting. So after we perform this all the transactions here, as I mentioned under the building area, these are the activities once you perform as part of daily activities. And then run create accounting program is a shaded job. When you say create accounting, there would be two options available in the application. One is draft, second is final. So what is the difference both of them? When you run the create accounting, by selecting the subledger model as accounts receivable, and type is draft. When you run the draft, all the accounting entries will get generated, but those things will not transfer to GL. When you run the create accounting, by selecting subledger model and type is final mode. When you say final mode, the system automatically will understand and run the create accounting, generate a GL accounting entries and transfer to GL. So that is the difference between draft and final mode. This can be daily activity or month end also. Some of the clients can run the daily where you can go and schedule it. 
certain time after business hours or certain clients they can use to run every month last week of the month okay so that's how they can do it that's absolutely the client decision transfer to by using this program what is the benefit so what it is going to do so transfer sub ledger entries to gl and i mentioned the report name here create accounting execution report so this report tell us what are the entries pass under this report which not not have been transferred to gl due to some expected errors okay when this program will get generated this is actually child job of the parent of create accounting job okay so when you run the draft mode then only this will be applicable this report create accounting execution report is the applicable because when you run the final mode all the eligible transactions will be transferred from sub ledger to gl module okay so that is the important so ideally when you run the this program right in the daily or month end especially month end activities this program completely give us complete information of the stuck records in the report and the major task is month end closer here the month end closer they can run all the serial reports which is needed and they can run the custom report as well as so status so what are the status are available in the oracle phase and account, account receivable model the first thing feature enterable and never opened open close pending closed permanently closed so this option cannot be used at any point of time because until unless completely the business can take a decision to use permanently closed for the accounting periods ideally they can use closed so what is the difference between closed pending and closed this is nothing but as a pre closed year accounting period okay they can keep as closed pending and they can perform the certain activities during the month end to reconcile the balances okay and once they did all the reconciliation everything looks good then they can keep it as a closed after we move to the closed status these are the status available in the accounts receivable model and send reports to customers yes so nothing but as a statement of accounts of the customers and the bab balance forward billing reports aging reports so these are the bare minimum uh, reports can be used to to send the customers if required aging report is not needed this is internal purpose they can use it to analyze the the customer open balances from the day okay let's say example 30 0 to 30 31 to 60 and then likewise 0 to 30 and 31 to 60 61 to 90 days 91 to 180 days 180 to 180 to 90 to 365 days this is the four four buckets of aging bucket aging report or five also you can use it based on your needed okay this reports can be sent and so this can be performed the last whenever you needed reconciliations which i have captured the one of the area where it is comes under the reconciliation reports here this is nothing but as a same reconciliation here to gl reconciliation and account analysis reports you can use these two reports whenever you need it okay so this things comes under the complete billing area where you can cover all the activities okay billing or invoice creation adjustments customer accounts and create account create accounting and the month end closer and what are the period status are available in the year model and uh, what are the reports we need to send back to customers and end of the task reconciliations so yeah this is about the inverse workbench of the phase and accounts receivable module
thanks for watching my video please do subscribe this video and channel and uh, share it like it comment it so that it will reach to the as many it professionals who is working on the finished models it may help for them their uh, day to day activities while they are working i this is one of the my like thought to share the knowledge with the across our uh, it professionals who is working on these things thank you so much for watching video once again please don't forget to subscribe my video and uh, share and like it comment it so next video i will talk about the receivable uh, workbench and what are the activities and what are the tasks comes under this the specific area that we'll discuss yep one second thank you